As political turmoil erupts in Egypt as anti-government protesters call for an end to the reign of President Hosni Mubarak and for reform of the Egyptian government, the world's media and governments turn to political and diplomatic experts to provide their opinions and advice for how to proceed with the situation. But what would happen if these governments were to consult a political philosopher? And what if that philosopher were none other than the founder of modern political philosophy, Thomas Hobbes? In his treatise Leviathan, Hobbes stresses the innate human desire for self-preservation, the warlike state of nature that humans face outside of society, and the importance of establishing a society with a sovereign holding absolute power. One could argue that President Mubarak and his government have resembled a form of sovereign during his 30-year presidency in Egypt, especially with the emergency powers he has held for his whole term. Hobbes, it seems, would have wholeheartedly supported Mubarak in this role and overlooked the corruption rampant in his government because of Hobbes' views that because the subjects have authorized the sovereign with absolute power, there is nothing that the sovereign can do that could be called injustice or injury. Clearly the people of Egypt disagree with Hobbes as hundreds of thousands of protesters gather in Tahrir Square in the heart of Cairo. Ignoring Hobbes' directives to maintain constant obedience to the sovereign, they demonstrate calling for President Mubarak to step down and for a new government to be established. Hobbes argues that this disobedience to the sovereign will result in the people's return to a state of nature, namely, a life solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. He warns that the state of nature is a state of war. While Egyptians may argue that their current life under Mubarak is no better than that described in the state of nature, Hobbes' predictions that a rejection of the sovereign will ultimately result in a state of war may hold true, as pro-Mubarak supporters have attacked the anti-government demonstrators for the past two days, and conditions in Cairo move to martial chaos. While it is still unclear as to how these events in Egypt will unfold, we can only hope that Hobbes' predictions will not be realized, and that the Egyptian people will be able to create a just peace to prevent a return to the state of war. Thank you, Tom Riley, signing off.